Hey, hey, it's Triple A Wednesday, which means it's time for a Q&A session where I'm answering your questions about the publishing industry and strengthening your works in progress. Keep the questions coming. I'm trying to get through as many as I can, but I'm loving engaging directly with my YouTube community in this way. Thank you so much for being such amazing participants in this series. To get some housekeeping out of the way, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to join this amazing community of writers and story lovers, and hit that like button while you're at it for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, and you have a current draft of a book definitely go down into the description and grab my free story self-assessment resource. It is a worksheet I specifically designed for my YouTube community that is going to ask you questions about your current work in progress and help you pinpoint what's working really well and what could be improved in the next draft. It's also going to sign you up for my newsletter where I give exclusive insights you won't find anywhere on my channel. So definitely don't miss out on that. We have some great questions today, so let's dive right in. First question here, how long should I wait before being concerned about my book's ability to be published when out on submission with my literary agent? How long does this process usually take and is it common to get a bunch of rejections before an editor accepts it? So here we are talking about when a literary agent has already agreed to represent an author and now the literary agent is in the process of pitching that manuscript to editors at publishing houses. Now this process is kind of akin to querying, which I know you definitely don't want to think about anymore now that you have an agent but it's basically now the agent's turn to reach out to editors and see if one of them wants to publish the book, similar to you reaching out to literary agents and seeing if one of them wants to represent you. With all of the chaos in the industry over this past year, I have been seeing that editors are taking longer than usual to get back to literary agents. And when I worked at a publishing house, we did always pretty much have a backlog of submissions from literary agents that we were working to get through. I would say it is not uncommon for this to take a few months. That said, it's completely reasonable for you to check in with your literary agent, especially if it's been more than a few months, and say, hey, where do we stand with the submissions? Who has responded? What has the response been? And how many submissions are still out? You have every right to know exactly where you stand and exactly which editors are still considering your book. To your point about rejections, Yes, it is highly likely that you are going to get rejected during this part of the publishing process as well. Just like you likely got rejected before you found your literary agent, your literary agent is likely going to field rejections before they find you the right match with the right editor at the right publishing house. After all, not every book that a literary agent submits is going to be able to be accepted by that publisher. The publisher also has to be extremely picky about the specific books that they decide to take on. So don't be worried about getting rejections. It's also possible that your literary agent could have some other editors on deck that they are planning to reach out to when they hear back from the editors that the manuscript is currently with. So it really just sounds like a great time for you to touch base with them. Here's another question. Do you have any thoughts about the Twitter drama surrounding a prominent agent's blog post a couple of days ago? Granted, this was posted a few weeks ago and I'm just now getting to it, so we're a bit backlogged here. It seems to have upset the writing community and there might be a conversation to be had around querying and that controversy. I do know what blog post you're talking about and I did follow all of the threads and the controversy that ensued because of it. I actually made a video that addresses the topic of the blog post, so I'm going to link that in the description here. I'm not gonna call out the specific agent or agency, but I think what we should take away from this conversation is that a literary agent's rejection feels like a closed door, but it shouldn't. It should feel like a redirection to the right agent. I saw someone post something in that vein on Twitter, and it really resonated with me, and I would really encourage you to think about it that way. I know how hard it is to not understand why a literary agent rejected you and wanting that insight and wanting to know how you can improve, but ultimately what's more important is focusing your attention on finding the right match who is going to share your vision, understand your story, and want to help you bring it into the world. Again, if you want a bit more insight into the specific content of the article, which was about literary agents not offering feedback, I will link my new video on that in the description. Here's another question. I just applied for an editorial internship position with Penguin Random House for this spring. In your experience, what does their acceptance or rejection process look like? What do they primarily look for in an intern? And what should I expect? 
Any other advice for a college senior hoping to break into editing and publishing? That's awesome. I wish you all the best with your application and I hope it is successful. What I can do is give you some insights into the background I had and the experience I had when I got my first publishing industry internships. Granted, this was several years ago. This was pre-pandemic. So first I did have to be based in New York City, which I understand is not a requirement now. A lot of publishers are offering remote internships, even remote work full time, which is awesome and is opening up the doors for so many people who couldn't get into the industry otherwise. So that's no longer a requirement that I did have. More importantly, what I understood the hiring managers to be looking for is students with some type of editorial experience. So for me, that looked like being the editor in chief of my high school newspaper. I was also editor in chief of the literary journal at the university I went to. I took creative writing courses. I had a minor in creative writing and I was studying literature as my major. You don't necessarily have to study creative writing or English to get an editorial internship, but that is the most common path. But what I would focus on are your extracurriculars. If there is any type of literary community that you can partake in at your university or college, that will help illustrate to the hiring managers that you do have that editorial inclination and that editorial mindset and even some editorial experience. So that could be your college newspaper, that could be a college literary journal, even something like a slam poetry group would all make sense. Also, if you've published any of your own work online, I did some publications through my school's newspaper as well that I was able to show and put on my resume. Ultimately, they wanna get a sense that you do have that editorial inclination, that editorial mindset, and you have some literary experience. Another good opportunity that I didn't take advantage of would be to potentially review books on the side. That would definitely show that you understand the current publishing landscape and can really offer that type of critical eye that they are looking for in an editorial position. We have time for one more question today. I have a question, when should I give up writing? I've been querying agents for nine years with six different projects. Usually I get about eight full requests that are eventually rejected. I workshop my books and queries and edit them, but I'm starting to think that maybe my books are not meant to be published. For some reason, agents don't like them. How do I know if I should just give up writing? This question makes me really sad because my answer is you should not give up writing. You said that agents don't like your books, but you also said you got eight full requests every time you queried all your different books, which is actually really good statistics. Many authors don't get that many full requests if they get any at all. So that definitely signals that something about your pitch and or something about your sample pages are actually resonating with literary agents. And it sounds to me like you just haven't hit that perfect alignment of the right book at the right time to the right agent, which admittedly takes a bit of serendipity to all fall into place. Please don't give up writing. Please keep going. If you are not finding joy in the projects that you already have on the shelf, work on something new. There are so many cases of an author publishing their third, fourth, fifth book as their debut book. And they have all these others that you know never saw the light of day. Those books still taught you something. They still taught you how to write. They made you a stronger writer. And one day, maybe you can revisit them and transform them into something that will ultimately get published. But please don't give up on writing. On that note, if you have any questions you want to ask or just any venting you wanna do, please leave a comment in this video. This is the cue I use when I am filming these and I would love to hear what's on your mind. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and grab that free story self-assessment in the description below. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing.